Have you ever wondered how a majestic rainbow is formed? Why do we see spectacular events in the sky, like red sunset, and blue sky? How is the arrangement of color determined by nature? Light is a kind of energy that can travel through space in a form of wave. Light from the sun or flashlights looks white, but it is really a mixture of many colors. The colors in white light, are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. We highlight here the arrangement of colors of light as, Roy G. Biv, when dispersion happens. Dispersion is a kind of refraction which provided us colors of light. This phenomenon is observed when white light passes through a prism. A prism is a transparent optical element, with flat, and polished surfaces that disperses light. Usually a prism has a triangular base and rectangular sides. Prisms can be made from any transparent materials like glass, plastic or fluoride. Water in a glass can also act as prism. It also breaks white light into constituent colors namely, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You can see these colors when you look at a rainbow in our sky. A rainbow is caused by both the reflection and refraction of light and water droplets on the Earth's atmosphere. The water droplets serve as tiny prisms that refract, reflect, and disperse sunlight into spectrum of light appearing in the sky. Does the arrangement of colors of light exhibit in terms of energy? Which color of light has the greatest energy? The frequency of light wave refers to the number of waves that move past a certain point in one second. Frequency is generally measured in hertz, the units of cycles per second. Color has the frequency ranging from 430 trillion hertz to 750 trillion hertz. Waves can also go beyond and below those frequencies, but they are not visible to the human eye. Wave frequency is related to wave energy. The more energy in the wave, the higher its frequency. The lower the frequency is, the less energy in the wave. When it comes to light waves, violet has the highest energy while red has the lowest energy. Related to energy and frequency is the wavelength, or the distance between corresponding points on subsequent waves. You can measure wavelength from peak to peak, trough to trough or between two consecutive corresponding points of waves. Within the band of visible light, the different wavelengths are perceived by people as different colors. The shortest wavelength is violet, and the longest wavelength is red. Light exhibits the characteristics of a wave. It moves in its maximum speed in vacuum but this speed decreases as it moves along different media. Light exhibits the characteristics of a wave. It moves in its maximum speed in vacuum but this speed decreases as it moves along different media. Refraction is the bending of light when it travels from one medium to another. The optical density, is the measurement of a component's ability to slow the transmission of light. This change in speed is manifested by the bending of the light ray. A known indicator of the optical density of a material is the index of refraction of the material, n. The index of refraction of a material is a quantity that compares the speed of light in a material to its speed in a vacuum. In Figure 7, light travels from air to the prism. When the light enters the glass, which is denser than air, it slows down and is bent. You observe that the angle of incidence, theta 1, is greater than the angle of refraction theta 2. You can see that the light ray refracts or bends towards the normal. Thus, light bends towards the normal when traveling from a less dense medium to a higher density medium and light bends away from the normal when traveling from denser to less dense medium like when light ray leaves the prism. The incoming ray is called the incident ray from medium 1 and the outgoing ray is the refracted ray in medium 2, and the associated angles are the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. When white light enters a prism, separation into seven different colors is observed. The refractive indices of the different colors of light indicate that it travels at different speeds in the prism which accounts for the different degrees of bending. In terms of frequency and energy of colors, blue, indigo and violet are the ones with the highest frequency and energy. These colors are the ones that are bent the most. At the end of the spectrum, red is the one with the lowest frequency and energy. It is the color that is bent the least and violet is the most bent.